Hey guys, so today I have a pretty large hamster haul to show you. I went to PetSmart, Petland, which I hardly ever go to, and Walmart, and I picked up a few items at each place. So I actually have 10 items here to show you. They are all for Pumpkin, which is my robo hamster. She's the only hamster I have right now. And before I get into this haul, I do just want to mention one thing super quick. I am using a new microphone for this video and it's my very first time testing it out. So I would really, really appreciate it if you could let me know down in the comments what you think of the audio on this video, if it's better, if it's worse, or just any general comments, because I really want to get your guys' feedback to make my videos a little bit better for you. So now let's go ahead and get started with the haul. So the first item I got is from PetSmart and this might be a little controversial item because I did get one of the small, I believe it's the four and a half inch silent spinner for pumpkin. Now these wheels do say they're for mice and hamsters, but a lot of people say they are way too small for any type of hamster. But I am gonna be trying this out with pumpkin and I have a couple different reasons why. First reason is she currently has the six inch medium one and she has a really, really tough time using it. She'll start running and she'll only run for a few seconds and she'll just fling out of it repeatedly. So I really don't think she likes it. So I'm gonna go ahead and try this. She is really small even for a robo. So I really think she will fit in here. And since she can't really use her six inch silent spinner very much, she has just been using her flying saucer constantly recently, which I don't really like. So I am gonna try this out and I am gonna watch her on it to make sure she's not really bending her back and see if she's comfortable. But I really think this will be a good wheel for her and I think the size will fit her perfectly. So hopefully this works out. I did get it in the red color because I do have a super exciting cage tour coming up within the next month or so. Um, and I needed a red wheel, so it was the perfect time to get one. And while I was at PetSmart, I actually went for one thing, and that was this Carefresh Christmas bedding. This was on sale after Christmas for only $4, which is a super good deal. I don't know if this size bag, I think this size bag is normally $20. So $4 is awesome, and it is this really bright green and red. Super cute and a lot brighter than their older Christmas stuff. Now I know Christmas is over, but I'm actually going to be a little bit crazy and I'm actually going to remove the green and the red bedding from each other and separate them. I need red bedding for, once again, my upcoming video cage theme. If you think you know what it is, let me know down in the comments below. So I'm going to attempt to separate the red and the green, and then I'll use the green in a future video, probably for maybe a St. Patrick's Day cage tour. So I got this for $4, so while I was there, I went ahead and bought all that they had. So they had two bags left. So I got two bags of this Christmas care. Next, I'll show you the five items I got at Petland. Like I said, I really don't go there much just because I really don't um, agree with their business practices. If you don't have a Petland around you, Petland is actually the only chain store around me that sells puppies. And there's a lot of things going around where a lot of their puppies are sick. They come from puppy mills. And I just don't really agree with selling puppies in pet stores at all. So I try not to shop there, but there was one item I needed and they are the only shop around me which I can find it at. So I had to go and check it out. I did film a video while I was there though. It's There's a ton of hamsters. If you haven't checked that out, I will put the link down in the description below to check out their small pets. But at Petland, I did go for this chinchilla bath sand. I get this for pumpkin because she does like her sand baths and they're the only store I can find around me that has it. And it was on sale, so I went ahead and bought two while I was there. It's normally like I think nine dollars there and it was on sale for I think four or five dollars. So I picked up a couple and this will last me a really long time. I did go ahead and pick up a few other items. I picked up this itty bitty igloo in blue. She does have one right now. I think it's pink but I needed a blue one for once again an upcoming cage tour. I also picked up a food dish while I was there once again in blue. This is a really big dish as you can tell. So I'm actually going to use this as a sand bath in one of my upcoming videos. I think it will be the perfect size. And last, I picked her up one toy at Petland, which is this super adorable hamburger toy. It is pretty big. I'm not sure if she'll chew on it much, but I thought it was really cute, and I don't ever see these like at PetSmart, so I went ahead and picked this up. And, it is and last, I went to Walmart, and I picked up two things for pumpkin. The first thing is just a new food dish. Her other food dish isn't that big, and this one's a little bigger. And as you know, most robos and dwarfs like to sit in their food while they eat, so I thought this would be a better size for her. 
And the last thing I picked up at Walmart is some more bedding. This is the blue, what's the brand? It is Critter Care. This is just an off brand of Care Fresh. I've used it before and it seems the exact same. I'm not sure if it's made by them. I know a lot of off brands are actually made by name brand companies, but it is really good. This is just the blue one that I needed for the video. So I got this. It is a little bit cheaper than Care Fresh. So that's everything I picked up for Pumpkin at Petland, PetSmart, and Walmart. Once again, please let me know down in the comments what you think of the audio quality of this video and also let me know what you think one of my upcoming cage tours is going to be. I can tell you it is a theme I have never done before and I am super super excited for it. It should be really fun and I think all of you will enjoy it too. Um, make sure to thumbs up this video if you liked it, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys next time.